Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day three of giving you guys a little bit of a tour of my diamond painting accessory collections. So today we're going to be talking about uh, diamond painting wax alternatives, putty, all that kind of stuff, everything that just smells good. <laughs> so uh, wax and putty are some of my favorite. Okay, let's be honest. I like to collect all things diamond painting related but I really love collecting putty and wax that smell good. I don't know, I enjoy scents, good scents. <laughs> so we're going to talk about everything that I have um, in the wax and putty section of diamond painting accessories. I do have a lot here to show you guys, so we're just gonna kind of dive in. I have kind of broken it up by shop, obviously, and then places that sell putty, wax, anything of that nature. So to start with, I'm gonna just go with some stores that I have a few things from. I definitely have my favorites and we'll talk about those last. So I have these little containers here. They're very dusty, I apologize, from the Dollar Tree. And in one of them, I just keep a bunch of heart pink waxes, which most of these are from Diamond Art Club. And then the bottom drawer has blue wax. The second one here, I don't even know what I have in this one. It's been a while since I've gone through these ones. Okay, so it looks like I have patty wax in this drawer. I am not someone who reaches for patty wax. It's never been my favorite, but you often get these little samples um, when you order from them. Um, I have also just ordered. Uh, so this is super sticky, I believe, in the tin. Obviously, I've used it before. It's been a while. I don't even know if this would be usable. I should probably just throw it out at this point. And I do have one of their bricks in Just Peachy. These are probably two of the first wax alternatives that I added to my collection. So... They probably need to see their way out, but <laughs> they're just hanging out for now. This I received from someone. Somebody sent me just a little piece of the Snuggle Bunny brick. I can't remember who. And then like I showed you before, I have some of these little samples. So this one is Japanese Cherry Blossom. Oh, Christmas Tree. This is a super sticky sample. Pink Flamingo and blackened amethyst. I should probably give these a try. Um, again, just to see if I've changed my mind. I feel like probably when I first started, I didn't really understand wax alternatives and that they work differently from pink wax. So maybe I will give that an extra go. What do we have here? Okay, I have some Wee Wax. This is... Is this version two, I think? Can I even get this open? This one is Snow Day, which I really enjoy. I have used this one before. And this one is Just Peachy, which I have also used before. Oh, that one smells so good as well. And then I have a little sample of Birthday Cake, which I don't think I have used. I've heard that Wee Wax may be making a comeback. I'm not quite sure. So I can't link you to any shop for these, but Laura from Anxiety Art Adventures, she is the one who founded <laughs> Wee Wax. So I will, ooh, this one smells good. I will link her channel, I think, maybe down below. Um, and you can see if she's made any announcements about Wee Wax, but I believe I've heard that it could potentially be making a comeback at some point this year. This next one is from, I'm gonna say it wrong. I think it's Chouette Seer. This is a Canadian company. I got this with my first Oraloa purchase way back. Um, they sell this company's wax on their website. So they had sent a sample with a kit that I had purchased, one of my first orders with them. Um, this is in the scent Hawaii and I have used it. It's been a while, but I do recall it working pretty well. There's that one. And then in here, I was looking for these. <laughs> in here I have my, these are wax alternatives. They kind of look like they could be putty. 
but it is wax. These are from Whimsical Daisies. Whimsical Daisies was also one of the first shops that I found way before it became popular. Um, this was my first container. They used to come in these screw top lids, which I way, 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 way more preferred than what they do now. But you can see this is very well loved. This was my favorite wax alternative. Uh, I've kind of uh, weaned off, I guess, from purchasing these. They're kind of hard to get your hands on. And I received an order that had like hair in them, which I wasn't too excited about. But they do smell good. These are great. I will link the Etsy shop down below. Um, just not one that I reach for so much anymore. I only used this in my single placer. And I feel like that could be why. Because I have replaced my go-to single placer alternative with something else. So don't really reach for these anymore. But they are great. I mean, here's another one that I have just used and abused. So they do work really well. I find these to be some of the longest lasting um, wax alternatives out there. So that's those three little uh, drawer systems. Let's talk about these two because I do not have very many from these shops. So this little tin here and this little container are both from Mad Wood Turnings. I think I purchased this one and I got this one sent as just a little freebie with an order. This is all natural beeswax, if I'm remembering correctly. And I didn't love these. They didn't work very well for me. <laughs> this one definitely just needs to probably be thrown away. It's very, very hard. Um, I just didn't have the best of luck with this particular wax. It wasn't a favorite. I don't reach for it. I should probably just get rid of them. Um, but Mad Wood Turning has beautiful, beautiful pens. So definitely check out their shop. If you're interested in trying their putty then, or not putty, their wax, uh, then give it a go. But it just didn't work great for me personally. Next up, I have some wax from Seiflu Boa Tour. Uh, they are obviously very popular, very well known for their pens. I don't even know if they make wax anymore. This is in the set the set, the scent cocoa. I think it's supposed to be coconut. Um, I think they just abbreviated it on the sticker. I have used this one quite a bit. It's okay. It's just not a favorite and I don't like the smell. Normally I really love the smell of coconut, but this one just isn't it. It's very strong and it gives me a headache. So I'm probably going to chuck this one to be completely honest with you. It's just taking up space at this point. But I do recall the wax being quite good. So if they still make this, I would recommend giving it a try if you're someone who enjoys these hard wax options. Uh, next up, we will talk about Diamond Art Supply. These are over on Etsy and they're not a favorite. <laughs> um, I haven't used this one. This one actually isn't too bad. I don't like the scents from this shop and have I even used these? <laughs> I think I'm missing, I think this came with two. I think I'm missing a couple of bricks. Like the smells just aren't good in my opinion. I don't like them. Um, that's just personal preference. Smell is very subjective. So just because I don't like them doesn't mean that you won't. I just, <clears throat> excuse me, they just aren't my favorite. I believe that you always get two. So I'm missing a pumpkin waffle and an autumn day, I believe. I've used them. They're okay. I would be intrigued to try this shop again, believe it or not, because they recently came out with putty. So I feel like that could be interesting, but just not a favorite for me personally. I have purchased these for my wax and putty showdown which i still have not filmed believe it or not i've been talking about it for quite a while um and it kind of just fell off my radar so if that's something that you guys would still like to see there are some other ones um over there are some other ones here on youtube um a lot of people have done similar type videos but if you'd be interested in seeing like a wax and putty showdown just let me know and i can toy around with the idea again but that was the reason I picked up these waxes was for that type of video. 
I recall not loving them, but I would definitely have to use them again to give you guys uh, a more current opinion because I, I can't quite remember exactly my thoughts and feelings, but I do have them. So I have Christmas Pine Tree, uh, Pecan Pumpkin Waffles, Autumn Day, and Sweater Weather. So that's Diamond Art Supply. I will link their Etsy shop down below. I also just want to show you guys these really quickly. These are from Diamond Drills USA. You can purchase little packs of wax if you would like them. Um, I have white wax and yellow wax. I actually really like these. I like them a bit better than I like the pink wax. Um, and these are really cheap. I think they're like a dollar or something like that. So I will link Diamond Art, no, Diamond Drills USA down below. Where do we go from here? Uh, I'll show you guys this one. This is a putty from Country Craft Closet. Now this doesn't smell, it's not anything fancy. They just sell these in like colored putty. I do have a, I can't remember where it is. They, you can purchase this in a set with like a tool that helps you get the putty out. Um, this isn't, honestly, it's nothing fancy, but it works really well. There's no smell, nothing like that but it is a good putty for your multi-placer um, and it's very, very affordable. So I will link them down below as well. I have just one from them. I think I just wanted to try it out um, and I liked it. Uh, next up, we'll talk about Oh Snap Crafters Cafe. I have one of their sets of uh, Oh Snap dots. These are Jenny's take on a glue dot. I don't love these. I'm sorry. <laughs> These, um, they don't work well for me personally. I, I prefer my regular glue dots to these. Um, I love the scent. I love the like uniqueness of this product, but they didn't work well for me. They slip out of my pen and I tried both a brass tip and a stainless steel, which is, I believe what Jenny recommends using these with the stainless steel tips. They just don't work for me they're more annoying than helpful. So I apologize if that's nothing personal, they just don't work well for me. Um, again, I love the originality of this whole thing. I like the scented element, um, just not a favorite for me. So if they work for you, that's awesome. I'm happy to hear that. They just don't work very well for me. Uh, along those lines, I do have regular glue dots. This is a dispenser from O'Brien, no, Wilson 3D Designs. Uh, which holds a roll of glue dots. I like to use the micro uh, glue dots personally. This is my go-to for my single placer. I love them. They can be a little annoying at first when you're using a new one because they can be really sticky. They won't let go of the drills, but as you work with them a little bit, they just last so long and I absolutely love my glue dots. Let's talk about, what do we wanna talk about next? Let's talk about uh, Swax from Swartz Handmade, I believe. Yes, yeah, Swartz Handmade by Abigail Marie. Um, so they have both wax and putty. And I actually really enjoy both of their options. <laughs> so I have two of their caulks, C-A-U-L-K. <laughs> and I have Beach Happy and Mahogany Teakwood in orange. This is called Wedding Scent, and then this one is Beach Happy. I really like this putty. It is a little bit different to me in texture than some of the other ones that are out on the market. I find it to be very, I don't wanna say wet, because it's not wet, but it's just a very like traditional putty, I guess. I don't know exactly how to describe it. I guess it's kind of more stringy than some of the other putties, but I really enjoy using this. It works pretty well on ABs for me, uh, which is nice because I do sometimes struggle with putty and ABs. Hopefully you can see what I mean when I'm saying that it's kind of stringy. It's just a little bit more of like a loose formula maybe than some of the other putties that I use, but I actually really enjoy that. So the wedding scent is mahogany teakwood and orange. Oh, it smells so good. And beach happy is I think my favorite because <laughs> I love anything beachy scented. 
if I can get that closed. Uh, Abigail has her own YouTube channel. I will link it down below. Um, she also just launched her own website. Oh, it smells so good, which I will also link down below so you can go check it out. I have not purchased in a bit, but I do need to check out what scents she has. Um, I also have this Swax, which is her, which is her <laughs> um, version of Diamond Painting Wax. Oh, this one smells so good. This is Fruit Salad is the scent. I need to bust this one out for June. I did not use this one. I think I ordered a mystery bundle or something. Yeah, I think that's how I got this one. I had ordered the Beach Happy set to go along with my putty. It came to me melted in the mail, but this stuff is really good. I actually enjoy this quite a bit for my single placer. There are times where I'm just in the wax mood or I want to match my wax to my putty, and I really do enjoy this particular uh, formula. It lasts a really long time for me. So big fan of that. And I actually received another package in that mystery set that I had ordered a while back. So I was excited that now I have a set that isn't melted and looks really cool. So that's another set of Beach Happy. And then I have the two from the Princess Along last year. So we have Cinderella and Aurora. I've used this one. You can see that really do enjoy this wax. Okay, so that is Swax by Abigail Marie. Where should we go next? I don't know. Let's do Enablers Outposts. I keep my Enablers Outposts putties in just a little bag that they come in. And these actually hang off of my cover minder boards. I have quite a few scents from this particular shop. These small ones came in a sample set last fall, I believe. So we have Crisp Night Air, Marshmallow, Pumpkin Pie, Autumn Wreath, Candy Corn, and Caramel Corn. And then I have a few of the full size. So we have Peppermint, Harvest Spice, Beach, Smells Like You Need a Vacation, Siren Song and Forest Pine. Forest Pine is my favorite, hands down. I really enjoy their putty. This putty is called Chit, C-H-I-T. However, I don't really enjoy using this putty when I have a lot of ABs. I talked about this in a recent post review. Um, I actually ended up replacing this with just standard pink wax because it would not <laughs> it would not lay down my ABs easily. And once I did get them down, this does leave a um, a residue, I guess, over the ABs. So not a favorite when I have a really heavy AB painting, but on regular drills, this works great. I really, really enjoy it. This also is a little bit more stringy than some of the other putties. I don't hate that. It doesn't really bother me. Just something that I wanted to note for you guys. A really great option. Just be wary from my personal experience when using this on AB drills. So that's Enablers Outpost. Um, let's go to Pretty Placers next. So I have some of their wax gems as well as their Pretty Placer crayons. To be completely honest with you guys, I don't really use, <laughs> I don't really use these so much anymore. Not because I don't enjoy them, I just don't reach for them. Uh, obviously they started with their Pretty Placer crayons. My boxes are all falling apart. <laughs> um, these just aren't a favorite. Um, mostly because I am a multi-placer and these just don't work in the multi-placing fashion. They are great. They're definitely great for ABs, but I have since found putties that lay ABs down just fine without stealing the wax. So these are very unique when they came onto the market. They were very, very popular. People definitely st still use them. Uh, if I want a single place ABs, I will still grab them. They're just not something that I gravitate towards so much anymore, but I will share the ones that I have. Uh, some of them don't have the names printed on the box, so 
we'll figure it out. This one is Coconut Calypso. I think that's my favorite. We have First Snow. If you've never seen them, they literally look like a crayon. They're super cute. We have Patty's Pipe and Juicy Peaches. Love Spell, Strawberry Fields, and Bubble Gum. Chocolate Covered Strawberries. Spring Meadow. As you guys can tell, I went ham on these. <laughs> uh, pumpkin Roll Cake, Paradise Falls, and Red Hot Cinnamon. Patty's Pipe. Cashmere Sheets, and Summer Strawberry. I think I just need to take them out of the boxes, to be completely honest, but the boxes are so cute. Raspberry Lemonade, Sweet Mango, Birds of Paradise, Lemon Pound Cake, Suntanned, and Shamrock Shandy. Pine Grove is a favorite. Manly Man and Mountain Air. We have Very Very Patchouli and Irish Jig. Almost there. <laughs> uh, Zanzibar Clove Relaxing Midnight Bur Bourbon and Midnight Sleigh Ride. Also have Blue Gatorade and Bahama Breeze. And I think the ones down here don't have names. We have Grape Soda. And I think they changed their packaging at some point and they no longer wrote the names on the box. So we have Ripened Strawberries. Uh, Campfire. Cucumber melon. Ooh, that one smells good. These still have a great scent to them. They've been sitting for a bit, but they still have a really good scent, which is nice. Uh, we have rose hip and peach. And then we've got some yellows. Let's see. Lily of the Valley. Definitely prefer when the name was on the box. <laughs> Honeysuckle, Sun Tea, and last but not least, this might be a duplicate purchase. Oh no, Cactus Blossom. So these are Pretty Placer crayons. And I have not purchased from them in quite a while, but I know that their shop still exists. I have seen them pop up on my Etsy with new releases. Uh, so I'll link their shop down below. I thoroughly enjoy this product. It's just not one that I gravitate towards anymore. Um, like I mentioned before, mostly because of the multi-placing factor. I feel like I finish kits much, much, much faster when I'm able to multi-place and laying down a single drill at a time just isn't my preferred way to diamond paint, to diamond paint. Um, but these are a really great product if you're looking for them and they also are great with ABs. Uh, also from Pretty Placer, I have quite a few of their wax gems. I really do enjoy these. I think they're really great uh, for your single placer. I have a few. Uh, obviously, you guys know I'm matchy matchy, so I liked to purchase the wax to go with the pretty placer um, when the scents lined up. So I do have a few repeats. Uh, this one is Summer Pines. This is one of my favorites. I love the outdoor scents. We have Evergreen. I don't know why I showed you the back. I have used this one though. <laughs> uh, this is my absolute favorite from them. This is Pine Trees. I have used that one quite a bit. We have Sunday Best. Home Sweet Home is another one that I've used quite a bit. Spring Rain. I think I've used all of these actually. 
Uh, Coconut Calypso, this is in a different package because when the gems first came out, they actually sent them in baggies, which I did not like. So I purchased a couple of these little plastic cases and I made my own labels, which is the same for Suntanned. I use this one. I have not used that one. We have Peach Blossom is another one that I purchased my own case for. Irish Spring Soap. Snuggly Blanket is another one that I have carved quite a bit out. Fallen Leaves, the little pusheen on the front. And this one is Cucumber Melon. This one has discolored for me. I have not used it because I wasn't sure if that would affect the product or not. Let me know if you know, but those are the Pretty Placer Wax Gems. I still use these. I use them on a, on a very recent whip, so they still get some attention in my collection. Uh, I do enjoy using them. I actually don't know if they sell the gems at this point. I know I've seen them restock the crayons, but I'm not sure on the gems, so I'll link the shop again. You guys can take a look over there. All right, let's talk about Randa's Crafty Corner. <laughs> we all know, we all love Randa's Crafty Corner. Um, I am fairly confident that this was the first putty shop that I ever purchased from. Um, I think Randa was one of the first on the market. Don't quote me on that. I don't know that for sure. I just recall coming across her page on Etsy before some of the other ones. Um, so I have a very large collection. I also have some of her waxes. Now I used to purchase the coordinating wax to the putty and then it seems like Randa doesn't really do that anymore. Uh, you can't automatically purchase the matching wax to the matching putty. Um, she used to release both at the same time, but I don't think she does that anymore. It has been a while since I've purchased. Uh, at one point I was trying to collect <laughs> her scents, but she releases new scents every Monday and it just gets to be a little much. So it's been a bit since I've purchased, but I do have a very nice collection. Um, I do thoroughly enjoy and recommend this particular putty. So I'll go through the wax first. I like the wax enough. It's not the greatest thing on the market, but it does work just fine. Um, so I have four of the hard and sticky and we have hot chocolate, Aspen winter, watermelon, and coffee cake. And then for her regular wax, I have peach and mango, elder wand, Hermione's Cauldron, Rose Water, Frozen Raspberry Lemonade, Tropical Island, Iced Lemon Biscotti, Sweet Coconut is one of my favorites, Champagne Toast, and we have Sea Breeze, which is another favorite, and Bold Night. Now you will hear some of these names come up again in the putty, but I do not have a matching wax for every putty or vice versa. Okay, let's get into this. <laughs> I'm going to move through these pretty quickly just because I don't want to keep you guys here all day. Um, but we have Tropical Island, Sea Breeze, a favorite, Evergreen Forest, another favorite, Champagne Toast, White Tahitian Woods is another favorite. Pine Breeze, Fall Farmhouse. This was the first one that I purchased. If you like the candle leaves from Bath and Body Works, go for that one. We have Peach and Mango, Hot Chocolate, Christmas Wreath, Reindeer Retreat, Rosewater, Warm Log Cabin, and Aspen Winter. Bold Night, Iced Lemon Biscotti, Elder Wand, Frozen Raspberry Lemonade, Creamy Banana, actually underrated, smells very nice, Caramel Nut Muffin, Sweet Coconut, another favorite, Cherry Fruit Punch, and White Peach, I love that one as well. 
And then we have watermelon, cheesecake and berries, Hermione's Cauldron, and bubblegum. For a while, Randa's Putty was the only putty that I purchased. So I did amass quite a collection. Um, but I do still use and really enjoy her putty. Definitely recommend if you're interested. Um, it works quite well with ABs for me. I don't have an issue with um, residue on my AB drills. I find this particular putty to just be a little bit more like substantial. It's a little bit thicker maybe. Um, it's not as stringy as some of the ones that I shared with you guys earlier. Oh, that one smells so good. I love like outdoor scented wax. I'm not so big on the fruit scents, but I love like nature, outdoor, seasonal type scents. All right, let's talk about Excuse Me Designs next. Now, Excuse Me Designs has rebranded to Rose Mud, I believe, and they no longer come in these particular um, screw top containers. They come in a bag like this, which is unfortunate. I'm kind of bummed. I really like how Excuse Me Designs did their putty. Um, not that I don't like the bag. It just seems like everybody does the bag of putty. And I really liked these screw top containers. Now I have a very extensive collection from Excuse Me Designs because I used to be signed up to their sample size subscription. You would get six samples, I think. So I'm not going to go through all of these because there are a lot, but most of them are sample size. I do have some full size ones. Ugh, this is dare I say, <laughs> this is top, top five favorite putties on uh, available to us as diamond painters. I just have really good luck with this particular formula. I think it works really well. It lasts a long time. I'm smelling all of them. That's so annoying. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, it lasts quite a long time. I don't have any issues with AB drills or anything like that. Um, so this is definitely a favorite. However, I have not tried the rebranded version. I don't know if the formula has changed. I don't know if it's different now because it's in a Ziploc bag. So I'm only speaking to Excuse Me Designs in this type of packaging. If you've tried both Excuse Me Designs and the newer version of Rose Mud, please let us know in the comments if you find them to be comparable. I don't think the formula has changed. I think you can still get version one and version two in the baggy style, but I'd be interested uh, to hear from those of you that have tried it to see if you feel like there's a difference. But I do have a lot of different scents. Most of them are seasonal because they had really amazing fall and Christmas themed items, but I do have some other ones mixed in here and I really, really enjoy this formula. So these are like a prized possession at this point because you can't get this style of container anymore. We're in the home stretch and all I have left to talk to you guys about is putty. So I'm going to go through these four uh, shops that I have here. Um, I forgot to mention before that I get these little crates off of Amazon. I will link them in the description box down below. Just as a, as a reminder, my Amazon links are not affiliate. They just take you directly to the item. Um, I like them because they can stack. I have a little table next to my drafting table area and I can just stack them and I know which color coordinates to which shop and I can just grab whatever I want. Um, so let's get into these four shops that we have left. So up here we have one of the newer companies that I've been trying. This is Putty Ella Mud. Really enjoy this putty as well. I've had really good luck with it. I find this to be a bit of a drier formula, which for whatever reason, works really well for me. I wanted to get one out so I could show you. This is Flower Child. Uh, this is one of the shops that does like the marbling color, which I find really fun, but it's just a little bit harder than some of the other putties we've talked about, and I really enjoy that. Oh, this one smells so good. They also have really great scents. I feel like you get a good amount for the price that you pay. I will link Putty Ella Mud down below. But let's talk about the scents that I have. The one thing that I do wish, which is very, very nitpicky of me, is I wish that the bag sizes were 
all the same. So they sell this smaller size as well as like a larger bag like this. I would much prefer this size bag because it just is easier to store, but that's a personal preference. We have a mystery scent, cowboy, butterfly kiss, butterfly kisses, sweet grace, stomping grapes, and fresh spring morning. And then for the smaller sizes, I have a sample. This is in the scent Cozy. Uh, something else that I really enjoy about this company is they have a listing of a bunch of scents that you can just get for a sample. I think they're about $2 maybe. So if you just wanted to try a new putty, you could order one or two of these, give them a try. I think that's a really nice option. Uh, so we have Flower Child, Sugar Kiss, Starfruit, Butt Naked, Bubble Yum, Strawberry, Monkey Farts, Deep Blue Sea. I Am I using this on my current project? I can't remember. I think I'm using this on my current whip. I think I just grabbed it so I could share it with you guys. Uh, I have <laughs> both of these nuts. <laughs> Hop to it and Sunshine Mimosa. And then I have Moose Munch and Summer Boardwalk. I think these are samples. Yes, these are samples. So that is Putty Ella Mud. I'm gonna put that over there. Next up, we have Painting with Pitties. This is Breeze Shop. Love Breeze Putty. I actually was lucky enough to have tried her putty before she was even selling it. Um, she used to send her putty as Happy Mail. So I have Fruity Loops and Hot Maple Syrup from then. That's why the packaging is a little bit different. And then when she started selling, I did pick up a few. Um, these ones are in like your traditional rectangle shape. But if you have never purchased from Brie before, her putty comes in a little paw print shape. I have not used cotton candy yet, but isn't that so cute and so on brand? We love to see it. So from her first release, you used to get two putties for, I can't remember how much, but I have Day at the Beach and Cotton Candy. And now she sells one paw print for... Is it $4? I can't remember. But I have watermelon hard candy, blueberry mojito, orange creamsicle, just peachy. And then I have this sampler. Well, it's not a sample pack. It's a, what would you call it? I don't know. Uh, it's not a sample. It's not a sample set. It's just like a curated set of similar type scents. I think she called it the bakery bundle. Is that right? So she has hot fudge brownie, pumpkin roll cake, banana nut bread, blueberry muffins, and carrot cake. I really enjoy Brie's Putty. Uh, I will be using the Day at the Beach one on a whip coming up very soon. So I can report back on my thoughts and opinions if you would like to hear them. Um, but I have used her putty before and I really do enjoy it. Also, fun fact, if you use the code LUNA15 at check out on her website, you will get 15% off your order. I don't receive any um, anything from that. It's just so you guys can receive a discount if you're interested. So definitely go check out Bree's Putty. Uh, she has some really fun scents out for the month of June. She has her Diamonds and Diversity scent, which I don't own. I need to go pick that up. Um, but she comes out with really, really fun scents, and I thoroughly enjoy them. Next up, we have Dot Dot Putty by Butterfly Effect Wares. Uh, I have a few. This is a new putty to the market, and I will say that I find this to be... I have used one of these. I just can't remember which scent, so we're just going to use Beach Babe as an example. First of all, super pretty. You get a very nice size. Smells amazing. However, I find this to be a very dry formula. I actually don't want to mess that one up because it's too pretty. <laughs> so let's use grape soda. I just find this to be a bit of a drier formula. Now, 
it seems like it's kind of stringy when you're first working with it but as it's in your pen and you're picking drills up it just kind of dries down a little bit I don't hate that I definitely don't mind the putty at all I just find it to be oh it smells so good though I just find it to be a little less long lasting than some of my other putties it's a good putty it's it's a good one on the market I don't dislike it I just find it to be a little bit different from everything else which is good it means that people are coming up with their own formulas and we love that um but still a favorite still a good putty um still worth it in my opinion they come out with some really nice scents i think the coordinating putty with their pen drops is really a cute idea um but yeah i have pina colada southern peach peacock black opal ethereal butterfly grape soda and beach babe okay one more shop left to talk about and this could possibly be is this my favorite putty on the market i don't know i would need to do <laughs> a little bit more testing before i made that claim but this would definitely be in the top three i would say so this is putty from nix's notions i talked about this a lot on my channel uh, I thoroughly enjoy this putty. It's more of like a gel putty hybrid. It's kind of hard to explain, but it just doesn't look like other putties. It's this interesting texture. It's really easy to get in and out of the container. It's just, I don't know. It's so strange to me. I very much enjoy it. I will, I will tell you that. Um, I stand pretty solid on my gel putty hybrid claim. Um, I've never worked with a putty that feels like this. I have heard people say that they find it to be too stringy. I could definitely see that, but for me, it just works so well that I don't mind that. I have used one fill of Nix's Notions putty in a multi-placer for an entire painting. Uh... I think the largest probably would have been a 50 something by 70 something. I've done that with smaller kits. This putty is just super long lasting in my opinion. I know some people don't like it and that's fine. We don't all like the same things and it's okay. <laughs> if you feel like I've been a little harsh on your favorite putty, it's nothing personal. It's just that it hasn't worked as well for me. So let's go over the scents that I have. I have strawberry champagne. Blue Cotton Candy, Cotton Candy Lane, I thought that was the same scent, uh, Chocolate Chip Waffles, this is Warmth of the Holidays, unfortunately I don't think she does these like rubber lids anymore, I think they're all screw tops, I thought these little paint top lids were really cute, we have Sunflower Starburst, Gummy Bear, Gummy Party Bear. Oh, I love this one. Look at the little gummy. I have used all of these. <laughs> we have Dragon's Breath. Super cute. This is another blue cotton candy. Yes, in the new style. We have Sticky Face. Uh, Mermaid's Life. I lied to you guys. I have not used this one because I'm saving it for when I do the Tiana Princess panel because it's a frog. This is Frog Farts. <laughs> I don't know why I could say that. But they come stamped with the Nix's Notions. Uh, what's that called? Nix's Notions icon? Emblem? I don't know. And I also haven't used this one. This is a Valley of the Sands. Oh, it smells so good. So that is my Nix's Notions collection. And with that, that's the end of my putty video. <laughs> so I have a ton of wax and putty alternatives, as you guys are well aware. Uh, I just want to again say, if you felt like I was harsh on your favorite putty or your favorite wax, it's nothing personal. I just have so many that I've tried, so many that I enjoy, so many that haven't worked great for me. Uh, it's just very personal in my opinion. I think that, you know, scents, 
formulas, they very much are dependent on the person who's using them. I'm a very hard presser, so things that might work well for me may not work the best for you if you're a light presser and vice versa. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We went through a lot of things in 45 minutes. Um, again, me sharing this is just for fun so you guys can see what's out there, what I enjoy. It's not me in any way trying to brag about the things that I have. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!